Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this feather nail art design. The colors I chose are blue and white. I'm going to begin my design by painting a white French manicure. I'm starting with the smile line of my French manicure. And for this hand, I did the French manicure with the white color. And for my opposite hand, I did the French manicure for the ring finger nail with the blue color and a white feather. And for this one, I'm going to be showing you the white French manicure with the blue feather. I think I said that right. On. I just used opposite colors is what I'm trying to say. So here I'm just filling in the top area with the white color, just filling in that French manicure. On top of my French manicure, I'm adding a glitter polish. Any one of your choice will do great. Now it's time to begin working on the feather. I'm gonna paint a swervy blue line. And I'm going to go over it one more time just so it's a little bit darker because this is basically what I'm going to be using as a guideline. And I'm just going to make the bottom area a little bit more curved. And I'm going to begin just painting tiny little lines stemming from the center little swerve. Just tiny, tiny little lines on both sides. Remember, whenever you work on a feather design, it's just a lot of repetition. So I'm just going on both sides doing the same thing. I'm starting off with the tiny little strokes. And little by little as I go, the strokes become longer and longer. Now right here I began using a darker blue color and I'm doing the same exact thing. Just randomly adding those little strokes going sideways and just, just make it look as natural as you can going sideways. And if they come out a little bit thicker, don't worry because after using this dark blue color, I'm going to go back in again with the lighter blue color and I'm making my brush strokes a little bit longer as well. And that just fades the darker blue colors as you can see here a little bit better so don't worry if you go a little bit too dark here you can see I'm just making those strokes a little bit longer on both sides now for the center I'm going to be adding the darker blue line and just curving it and I decided to add some glitter this step is completely optional just a tiny little bit of that shimmer and that's it for this nail art design. For the next one, I began with a blue French manicure and I added some glitter. And I'm just adding a little strand of blue dots sideways, going towards the center of the French manicure. And the dots become smaller, smaller as you go up and that's it. Just apply your top coat to seal in your design. And remember what I said, for the opposite hand, I just changed the colors around as you can see here. I hope you guys like this design idea. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.